Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mills Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past few days and we're starting off here on Red Feather Falls where we have a pretty big moose coming into the call. So as I get my bow up here to go and take this guy, you can see he has an estimate of 200 to 240. So anything over 200 is a pretty good size moose. So with that estimate, he's guaranteed to be pretty big. And something that was really neat about this particular moose was that over sort of basically over his forehead there, he does have a couple of crossing tines, which I thought just looked really cool. I've never actually had a moose that had tines that crossed like that. So I was really, really happy to actually get one that looked like that. Now picking him up, he only scores 204.2756 and I actually thought he'd be a little bit bigger than that. But even still, as I said, being over that 200 mark, he is a pretty good size moose. And of course, with having those crossing times there at the front, which you can really see here, I'm definitely going to take a decent trophy shot of this guy. And I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's a pretty okay for this guy. I honestly thought he'd be bigger just because of how he looked, but not, not my biggest moose by quite a bit. But moving over onto Hirschfelden now, where we have the first rare of the video. And this right here is a piebald red deer hind. Now, it was really funny. I've been hunting Hirschfelden quite hard since the fallow deer released, looking for rares and a good size one for the lodge. And I've come across a couple of other cool things whilst looking for fallow deer, and this was one of them. So as you can see, Piebald, obviously no score because she is a female, but we are going to take a nice trophy shot of her. The Piebalds look really, really cool in the Hunter Classic. I really love how their patterning looks. And I think it's really cool as well that they've got these sort of blue coloured eyes. They really stand out. And it just makes getting, you know, anywhere is really cool in Classic. So gonna take a trophy shot of her, like I said. Not gonna tax her because I do already have one in the Trophy Lodge. But I'm pretty happy with that as a nice trophy shot and we'll move on to the next animal. And the next animal is also a piebald red deer hind, again here on Hirschfelden. I had a piebald red deer hind one day and then the next day I got another piebald, piebald red deer hind, both on Hirschfelden. So two within two days, which I thought was pretty funny. Now this one gave me a little bit of trouble as she did actually spook when I initially spotted her and I spent, I think it was like over half an hour tracking her only for her to end up pretty much in the same field where I'd initially spotted her which was pretty funny to be honest that she'd sort of led me on this wild goose chase only to end up back in pretty much the same field. Now I had had this stag come in as well so I did take him with the bow just so that I could let that hind get nice and close to take her out with the 3006. So he's nothing massively special so we'll just pick him up on the way but of course this is what we're really interested in is this beautiful piebald hind. And once again it was just really funny I wasn't looking for rare red deer I was looking for rare fallow deer but I get two piebald hinds in two days. I don't really know what that kind of luck is. I guess it's really good luck. But I, once again, we're just going to take a nice trophy shot of her for the gallery. Not going to tax her because, again, I do already have one. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how that one actually turned out. Nice it that it landed on the road as well. Made for a nice easy trophy shot. Now, I did actually manage to find one of the animals I was really looking for here on Hirschfelden. That is a piebald fallow deer buck. Now, I really wanted to get another piebald fallow because when I got the piebald fallow doe on release day of fallow deer, I did actually forget to tax it. So I really did want to come out here and try and get another piebald. I was really hoping to get a buck. So when I saw this guy, I was really, really excited. So managed to drop him there with the 3006 and drop another one there as they were fleeing. But of course this is the one we're interested in, this beautiful piebald buck. And he is absolutely gorgeous. I really really like how the fallow deer look now in classic. They have really improved them in a lot of different ways with the antlers and everything being fixed. And they did end up changing the fur type that was called Menil. They changed it to the name Chocolate. So they changed pretty much everything that I really wanted to see changed. And I'm really really happy about that. But we are going to definitely tax this guy for the trophy lodge and going to get a really nice trophy shot of him. I was so, so pleased. I'm just, honestly, I'm really, really thrilled with how the fallow deer are in the Hunter Classic now. They look a lot better. Just everything about them is a lot better. Like I said, everything that I mentioned in the uh, the video for the release day of them has actually been 
sort of altered or changed and i'm i'm really really pleased that they took on all that feedback and actually did change all those things so really happy with that and a beautiful beautiful rare to go into the trophy lodge really happy with that trophy shot as well with the camo 3006 lever action yeah really happy with that now this next clip here on White Rhine Ridge actually happened during one of the T-Rex hunts that me and a group of friends went on and uh, it was of, of this pretty big bison here which you will have just seen me take a shot at with the snake bite. Now unfortunately that first shot wasn't particularly good so I sort of carried on running around looking for the T-Rex but also looking for this bison and he'd ended up on this sort of sort of a bit of a cliff sort of really steep slope area and he was running around. I d wasn't going to get close enough to him with the bow again without him spooking. But I basically decided to just pop shots at him with the 4570. In classic, you don't really have to worry about getting those perfect vital hits. As long as you end up bringing the animal down, it doesn't really matter. And a couple more shots from the 4570 ended up bringing this guy down. And he landed in a pretty nice spot actually up here. It wasn't too steep and you can see all kinds of shots into this guy. But he actually scores 124.0827 which is actually a really big bison. He's actually quite high up on the leaderboards and I was really really happy with that. And uh, my friend did give me uh, permission to shoot it. It was on his map and I did ask first. And he said, yeah, go ahead, shoot it. Because he was on the other side of the map. And yeah, it was a pretty nice sized bison. So that was a really big bonus while we were out here hunting T-Rex. Now, moving from one monster ball to another, but switching up the species and the map, we are now here on Pickabean Bay, where we have an absolutely giant-sized water buffalo bull in front of us. And honestly, when I saw this guy, I got so excited because I knew that this was just a huge bull. He looked absolutely massive in comparison to every other buffalo I'd ever seen. So waited to, for him to give me a shot there and managed to drop him with one shot from the 4570 which was really really nice. And I was really excited to go and pick this guy up for a couple of reasons. One obviously because I thought this was probably the biggest water buffalo I'd ever shot. But also because he's got really wonky horns. They're really really uneven which is something I always love to see. But picking this guy up, he is a 277.5606, which is by far my biggest water buffalo ever. And I was super, super stoked about this. They do get bigger than this, but he is on the leaderboards and I'm really, really happy just to have one that is, you know, definitely a recognisably big water buffalo. He's just absolutely awesome. And with those wonky horns, I couldn't be happier. I spent a long time trying to get a trophy shot of this guy that I was happy with, that I felt showed off just how huge his horns were. Because with an animal like this, you really want to make sure you get a nice trophy shot. And that's something I absolutely love about Classic, is trying to get a really good trophy shot of an animal like this. Now, I almost put the shadows filter on for this picture, but I opted to just go with no filter, which is what I normally do. But that is one that's going straight to the Trophy Lodge and I'm super happy with that. Sticking on Pickabean Bay and I have been sitting in a couple of my tree stands looking for rare Rusa and Samba deer. And I ended up having this really big looking male Rusa coming into one of my tree stands. As soon as I saw him I knew that this was by far the biggest Rusa I had ever seen. And this is actually my first trophy animal kill with the heavy recurve. I bought the heavy recurve while it was on sale a couple of days ago. And yeah, this was my sort of first noticeable kill, no, or notable kill rather, with this brand new bow. As you can see, we've got a good number of animals at the bottom of this stand, but this guy was by far the most special. And unfortunately, he did sort of land in this uh, sort of plant here, so I couldn't really get a good look at him on the ground. But picking him up, he's a 182.6773, which again is a pretty good size animal and he's actually again on the leaderboards. And they do get bigger than this, but I was definitely, you know, of the mindset that I was taxing this guy and getting a nice trophy shot, seeing as he was a decent way onto the leaderboards and by far my biggest one ever. Hopefully I can get an even bigger one as I continue to sit in these tree stands, but this was a real highlight for me. I was super happy with that. And like I said, first notice notable kill with that recurve, if I can get my words out. So yeah, really happy with that.
Now, sticking with Pickabean Bay and actually the same tree stand that we just shot that big rooster from, we now have a really good size of male samba deer coming in. Now, like I said, I've been sitting in this stand hoping to try and get a couple of decent sized ones for the trophy lodge, as well as some rares because the samba and rusa rares are absolutely beautiful. But this guy came in and stopped and gave me a perfect shot there with the heavy recurve, dropped him on the spot, and I knew that he looked pretty good, but when we pick him up, he's actually a pretty good scoring one at 227.0866. Now, going off of all the spreadsheets and everything, this guy isn't massive, and obviously off of the leaderboards as well, he isn't massive, but he did still actually make leaderboards, so I haven't actually taxed this guy, but he was definitely worth a nice trophy shot. And hopefully, if I do keep sitting in that same tree stand, looking for those rares, as I mentioned before, hopefully I'll get one that is even bigger and that is definitely worth taxing to send to the lodge, but for now, really happy with that, really cool to get one that was on the leaderboards. But now this is the most special part of this video and something that I've been waiting to share for a few days now. This is the moment of my first ever super rare here in the Hunter Classic. So I set up this tree stand and sat in it for the first time and immediately I got a call from some cow elk and I called them in and the first one from that group to come in was a piebald. So I was just waiting for her to come in so I could drop her here with the bow and this ended up being the first animal I had ever shot from this tree stand was this beautiful piebald and I was pretty happy with that. I said okay. I don't know why I'm getting so lucky with finding so many different piebalds recently, but I'll definitely take that as my first kill from this new stand. And I sat there and I was calling and seeing what else would come in, and not very long after, I see something very pale moving through the brush, and I get the binos up on it, and it's a piebald white-tailed doe. And immediately I knew, okay, if I can get that doe to come over and get it in the same trophy shot as that cow elk, that's a super rare. So in Classic, there's a few sort of different categories of super rare. You can have a, uh, a really high scoring rare. You can have a rare that's a non-typical, so like a non-tip albino white tail, something like that. You can have two rares in the same trophy shot, two non-tips in the same trophy shot. Two, I think you can have two high scoring animals in the same trophy shot. A rare and a high scoring animal in the same trophy shot. But obviously, two rares in the same trophy shot is what we've got going on here. And just look at how this doe ends up walking. She walks pretty much side by side to where that piebald is as I come out of the bow there. Because unfortunately, um, there was another cow elk at this point dead on top of the piebald from the group that had come in. But I'll get my binos here so you can see. That's the piebald doe. And that there is the piebald cow elk. They are pretty much right next to each other. So I walked around trying to get all the other animals out of the way here just to make some space because obviously I had that group of cow elk come in and I had a couple of other does and stuff come in as well. But just making some space so I can get that all important trophy shot. And here, here we go, the two piebalds side by side. And it's much harder to get rares in the Hunter Classic than it is in the Hunter Call of the Wild, which is why getting two rares like this side by side is classed as a super rare. And honestly, I was jumping up and down. I have always wanted to have a super rare that I could submit to the wiki gallery. And I did submit this and it is actually now in the gallery as a super rare. Which, I know it probably sounds stupid, but that's kind of been a long-term dream of mine. To get an entry for the super rare gallery. And I did it and it's in there. And I'm so unbelievably thrilled. And I really like how the trophy shot turned out as well. Obviously, I can't actually move the uh, the white-tailed doe around. I can only move the elk because that was the one I claimed. But considering that I couldn't move the doe around naturally, I sort of had to drag it using the elk carcass. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And honestly, to get two rares next to each other, that's my like my ideal super rare. I didn't want to get like a 200... Uh, a couple of 200 mule deer or you know one of the easier super rares i wanted like two rares side by side like this so i was really super super stoked to actually get this and i've been so excited waiting to share this for so many days so yeah i'm really pleased i finally now get to actually share with you guys my first ever super rare in any the hunter game two piebalds side by side and of course then after we took the trophy shot of them together i can now take a trophy shot of the piebald white-tailed doe as well on her own 
And yeah, just absolutely fabulous. Hopefully this has broken my curse of never getting super rares. And maybe I'll now be able to get a super rare at some point in Call of the Wild. Because in Call of the Wild, a super rare is a diamond scoring rare. That's it. That's all there is for super rares. There's sort of more different ways you can get a super rare in the Hunter Classic. Just because getting trophy size animals or non-tips or rares is just that bit harder. There's a few different ways you can do it. But... In Call of the Wild, it has to be a diamond rare. So now I've got a super rare, maybe that breaks my curse. But either way, I couldn't be more thrilled. And I know it's, oh, it's just two rare females. But yeah, it's two rare females and it counts as a super rare. And I'm in the gallery, which is a, an achievement I've always wanted to get. And I never thought I'd be able to. So I'm super pumped about that. Super, super excited to actually share this with you guys and see what you guys think. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. A lot of really cool animals in this one. Really enjoying getting back into the Hunter Classic. Now I have a way of recording it again. And yeah, there will be more to come. So thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.